Coaches are about to make their NFL debut. David Culley, Urban Meyer, Robert Sala, and Brandon Staley are the new head coaches in the AFC. Then you have Dan Campbell, Nick Sirianni, and Arthur Smith, the new kids on the block in the NFC. But let's run through some expectations here for a few of them. D Hall, where are we going first? Well, Colleen, we're going down to Philly, your neck of the woods. And I tell you what, when I first heard Nick Sirianni in his introductory introductory press conference, I said, oh, my goodness, not this guy. Who is he? (laughs) And then I got the chance to talk to him on camera, off camera. And I mean, Colleen, I fell in love with him. And so preaching competition, his guys will compete. They will be tough. Cannot wait to watch this guy go out here and try to win football games. I want to talk about the new man in Atlanta, Arthur Smith. He got the most out of Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, and that Titans offense as the team's offensive coordinator the past two seasons in Tennessee. But the, where I expect to see the biggest, most drastic difference is in the red zone with Kyle Pitts. We saw what Arthur Smith was able to do with Jonu Smith in uh, Tennessee. Now imagine with Kyle Pitts, especially this week versus Philly, and then next week against Tampa with that banged up secondary. I expect big things. Man, Urban Meyer, look, he has to understand the Jacksonville Jaguars had the number one pick overall for a reason. They won week one last year and then lost 15 of them things straight. That's how they got the number one pick. This is going to be a process. He's won three national championships in the NCAA. I'm not so sure he's going to get that success right away. He's going to have to be patient and understand he's dealing with grown men, okay? And and it's going to take a while to get this team turned around because uh, they weren't very good last year. Mike Rob, just five years ago, John Carroll University was preparing for their next game against Baldwin Wallace after losing in the opener to Wisconsin Oshkosh. Why am I talking about that? Because the defensive coordinator of that team, John Carroll in 2016, Brandon Staley, and just five years later, now the head coach of the Chargers, preparing for week one against the Washington football team, a meteoric rise. Folks, very impressed with Brandon Staley early on. Let's see how it goes starting tomorrow in Washington. Brandon Staley trying to ruin everyone's fantasy season one week at a time, but that's okay. We have help on the way. Adam Rank is here. He's chasing championships just like everybody else in these football streets. So Adam Rank is back with us again this year. Welcome in, my friend. Your uh, trophy room is looking great. You have a a healthy plant in the background as well, I see over there. But more importantly, how about a healthy quarterback that's going to uh, help teams really get started off on the right foot this week? Yeah, it feels weird having all these trophies and then wanting to talk about Kirk Cousins. But here we are. And I think that Kirk Cousins is a great start this week going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Don't make me break. I love the matchup because, number one, the Bengals will be out, will be without Trey Wayans at cornerback, and that means a good opportunity for guys like Adam Thielen, Justin oh. Jefferson. I thought that this was really going to be a huge Dalvin Cook game, but I feel comfortable enough that if you need to stream a quarterback, then Kirk Cousins is a way that you can go in this one. <laughs> hey, Rank, how about an underrated running back to carry me to the top of the standings? Well, you know what? We were talking a moment ago about Nick Sirianni and, and the mystery that he could be around the Philadelphia Eagles, but I believe that Miles Sanders is somebody that you're going to need to start this week going up against the Atlanta Falcons. Last season, the Falcons allowed a lot of fantasy points to opposing running backs, and as I look at this Eagles roster, I think Jalen Hurts is one of the best young quarterbacks in the game and when he played with Miles Sanders Miles Sanders was a top 10 running back so I expect them to continue that momentum from last season why am I dressed and and seated like Frank Costanza in the background there how could you trade Jay Buna all right uh rank give me a wide out that will lead my team to my give me a wide out that'll lead my team to my first title and I can't even tell you how long I haven't won in like 15 years it's been a while, yeah. Well, you know, the, the the number said Ken Phelps, so that's why they had to make that move, you know, lefties and Yankee Stadium. Anyways, Jason, sorry about that. Didn't mean to bring up old stuff. Deontay Johnson, though, we'll get to it. <laughs> uh, again, we, early, we like, I'm part of the conversation, but you guys were talking about the new <laughs> offensive coordinator in, in Pittsburgh. I don't know. Um, the one thing is that we don't know how they're going to attack this Bills defense. All I can do is go based on last year, Deontay Johnson was targeted seven times in that game against the Bills. He had four receptions for 40 yards. I think he can have a little bit more success this season. I think with all the Steelers receivers, it's going to be a little bit of a mystery to see 
who this new offense favors. But for week one, I feel very comfortable. Com- comfortable. Why do I keep making up words? A comfortable. Comfortable. Going up. Comfortable. comfortable. I like Bernie Stinson. Comfortable at the same time. <laughs> That's it. Hashtag trademark. Okay, Confident whatever. Comfortable. And comfortable. Yeah. I'm comfortable with Deontay Johnson. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, we love you. I listen. I've already, I've laughed, I've cried. The show is an emotional roller coaster already. I, I give you a gigantic That's a full hug day. right now. Jim Thank Valmato. you for coming by. I know <laughs> this is great. You guys, uh, Rank's gonna be back. Don't worry. He has more where that came from. Back. Opening up with a joke that really.